All right, here we are. We're standing just outside of Banning Pass and in, inside the city limits of Palm Springs, California. Behind me, you'll see the windmills that are a Southern California postcard for many. And this is the backdrop for my forthcoming novel, Blindfall. What if a gay couple were very, very brutally gay bashed? And what if one of them died? And what if the guy who died turned out to be a Marine? How would his Marine Corps buddies react? Would they seek revenge and justice for him? How would they react to the boyfriend they never knew about who was probably kept a secret from all of them? The setup of Blind Fall is that a battle-scarred Force Recon Marine discovers that his comrade and close friend was gay after that Marine is brutally murdered, and he's forced to team up with the boyfriend he never knew about to seek justice. The military stance on gays in the military is, is still covered by the don't ask, don't tell policy. It's a hypocritical, ineffective policy and, and it's in place now and what, it, what it's doing is it's allowing the largest employer in the country to discriminate on the basis of sexual orientation. When my first novel, A Density of Souls, was published, it was set in New Orleans, and so there were the inevitable comparisons to my mother's work, my mother being Anne Rice and, and being very associated with the city of New Orleans. All three of my novels have made the New York Times bestseller list. In my own life, I left Louisiana about six years ago and I moved out to California. And while it wasn't a deliberate move in terms of my own work, the natural outgrowth of that has been that I set my work here in California and that it's, it, it is as much about California for me as mom's work is about New Orleans and Louisiana and the South for her. I'm excited about Blind Fall because I think like my favorite thrillers that I enjoy reading, it engages a serious issue in a very suspenseful and exciting way. And, and, I'm, and I am a reader and a writer who believes that that's possible, that they're not mutually exclusive, that exciting fiction can be serious fiction.